I will be going over some of our experimental work in the field of nuclear thermal hydraulics. We are developing a novel heat exchanger design for an integral, inherently safe light water reactor. In this reactor design, the primary components that are conventionally located outside the reactor pressure vessel are integrated into the vessel. This integral primary system can prevent large line break accidents and reduce the cost of the containment st structure. To enable this integral primary system, we have developed a compact high efficiency heat exchanger using microchannel technology. Here is a single sheet of the heat exchanger, where the channels are etched into the sheet of metal. Then, the sheets can be stacked on top of each other to provide the amount of heat duty required. This is the test facility that we developed to validate the microchannel heat exchanger design. The test facility has multiple loops that carry the hot, boiling, and cold fluid that simulate the primary and secondary coolants in the actual reactor. This test facility has temperature, pressure, and flow rate instrumentation to quantify the heat duty and pressure drop for a representative microchannel heat exchanger test section. We have performed a wide range of tests with both single phase and two phase flow of the secondary fluid. The results from our experiments show that the microchannel heat exchangers can achieve the power densities required for the reactors with integral primary system. Another area of focus is on advanced high temperature reactors. These reactors use molten salt as the coolant at roughly atmospheric pressure instead of high pressured water. This makes them inherently safer and more efficient than light water reactors. The hydrodynamics and heat transfer for the geometry are not well understood for the plate type molten salt reactors. This study will help in understanding the effect of different coolant channel design features on the thermal hydraulic performance of the reactor core, both during normal operation as well as postulated accident scenarios. In addition, the correlations developed from this work will assist benchmarking efforts of safety evaluation codes being developed by the NRC for licensed advanced nuclear reactors. In these experiments, local heat transfer coefficient and friction factor are investigated for flow through plate type geometry. In addition, a channel with dimple features is investigated to characterize and quantify the heat transfer enhancement during both normal operation as well as accident scenarios. For the experiments, a commercially available surrogate fluid that simulates the molten salt properties is used. This fluid flows through a test section that consists of a rectangular channel to simulate the plate type geometry, and the channel is heated electrically to simulate the fuel strengths in the reactor. Instrumentation that measures temperature and pressure at axial locations along the channel are used to collect data that is applied for the calculation of the local heat transfer and friction factor. To give some context, in the figure on the left, it shows the cross-section of the entire advanced high-temperature reactor core, consisting of 252 fuel assemblies. The figure on the right shows a cross-section of a single plate-type fuel assembly. The purpose of this project is to simulate flow in a single channel, with a white space between the two plates, from this assembly in our experiments. The goal of this experimental investigation is to have correlations developed that will be incorporated in modeling codes to aid in the development of this AHGR concept. More importantly, these correlations will provide improved confidence in the safety analysis code.